Hey, I figured you might be hungry. Yes, ma'am. I could eat. Say, uh, how did you women get it tangled up with the likes of Trey Garris and his bunch? Lona figures their guns are going to come in handy real soon. You know, but if I were you, I'd be real careful of these petticoats. All killers, fast on the draw, most of them poison, like take flow. <laughs> She's a bad one. You know, Leonzo was her man. There's going to be bad blood between her and Lona, for sure. How do you figure into this? Well, I'm likely the worst. How'd you get tangled up with these cutthroats? <laughs> I was on a stage bound for San Francisco. Me and some of the other girls got held up, and we were going to be sold across the border when Lona showed up. Yeah. Anyway, she wants to see you when you're done. So I didn't get your name? I didn't give it. We'll have to continue this conversation sometime. Yeah, sometime. Well, if Evans thinks he's going to come in here and start giving orders, he's got another thing coming. You going to tell him different, Stoner? I don't see you taking him away from Lona. Don't think that I can. Anytime I want a man, I can get him. <laughs> now, that's real funny, because I heard with you that it was just the other way around. Men used to ride for miles just to see me. <laughs> Well, that's because it was the only cat house for 200 miles, and you were as cheap as their rock gut. <laughs> you take that back. You couldn't get a man if you was the only woman in Yuma prison. Okay, that's enough. You talk like you're so high and mighty. Just because you got an offer from San Francisco. Well, all the perfume and soap in the world don't make you smell no better than the rest of us. You got me? I don't need anything to smell better than you. <clears throat> You're going down. You're going down. Get her. Get her. Now I say come on. Get her. 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 Let her go. Not until I teach this tramp a lesson. I ought to take that whip and wrap it around your neck. Go back to the mine. Yeah? Come on. You want some, don't you, tall man? You know, if you won't do it for Lona, maybe you'll do it for me. I like a man with backbone. The one who knows who's boss. She's just a breed, and well, me, I'm a real woman. Looks like we're the only ones left. Waste of good water, right, Lona? You know, I was about to head out of here with this saddlebag. Why'd you come back? Well, I figured, why just settle for some when I can have it all? Besides, it was bound to come down to you and me anyway. Kind of sorry, you know. If it weren't for you, I'd still be shackled to some hole across the border. You could have shot me in the back. I thought about that. But I figured old Evans wouldn't take to me if I did you like that. You think Evans would take to you? The only woman between here and the border and all this gold thrown in? He'll take. Call it. Oh! Oh! Uh. 